Okay. Another one for Another Kathy. Another one. I think number 14 <laughs> today. 14. 14 today. Hey guys, it's Kathy. Yes, I am painting, but not today. Just got back from a three day, two night fly fishing trip in Tasmania with Trout Tales guide Matt Stone. It was our first trip to Hobart in Tasmania, and I really didn't know what to expect. I haven't been on a lot of guided fishing trips before, but this one worked out so well. I just wanted to share our experiences in case you happen to be looking for something similar. It's early March and weather in Taz in particular oh, this time of year is highly unpredictable. And sure enough, it delivered on that. And it was windy and challenging for those three days, but it didn't matter. Matt knew where to go and how to fish it. And we caught fish every day. So why was this trip so great? What made it so great? I think there's five key things that came together so beautifully and made it such an, an outstanding experience. The first is Matt himself, because you want a guy that's knowledgeable, somebody that really knows the rivers and where to go and how to fish them. And that kind of lo local knowledge is what, you, what you're buying. It, it will be the base of your entire experience. The weather we got handed was definitely a bit challenging. Matt chose our locations accordingly. He explained it all to us, why he was thinking about where we would be fishing. It all made sense and it worked out beautifully. Number two is place. Where are you going to fish? Tess has an amazing diversity of different fishing options. The first day Matt picked us up from the hotel and we headed north to fish the meander because it had actually snowed the night before. It was windy, it was cold, but it really didn't matter because the river itself was fairly protected. And it gave us both a good chance to get used to the equipment, which by the way is top notch, because we really are weekend warriors. And there are often months and months between our opportunities to fish. The second day we fished the Shannon River which was really too low and again we were still dealing with wind and so we moved on to the Shannon Lagoon and that was perfect. We were able to play the wind and again we caught fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, I have gloves on. You okay? Yes. <laughs> the third day we went to the Tyana. Things had warmed up by then, the river was running. It ended up to be a perfect choice. I caught 17 fish, Rick caught nine, nymphing, which he had never done before. So, you know, how can you argue with that kind of uh, success? Obviously, it doesn't always go that way, but when you have someone who has such a deep understanding of their local rivers and the habits of the local wild fish, you know, you're not gonna get a better shot than that. Number three for me was travel logistics. Hobart is an easy airport to navigate, Uber down to the CBD where you have all kinds of restaurant options. Matt will pick you up there and take you back to there or the airport at the end of your trip. It really doesn't get any easier than that. Number four, you get a private tour of the Central Highlands with Matt telling you all kinds of stories about growing up there, what life is like, and it just gives you a personal insight into what makes living in Tassie unique. And number five is the quality of the meals and accommodation, which is included in Matt's fishing packages. The Great Lake Hotel lives up to what it promises on its website. The cabins have just been recently renovated, everything is new and clean, and the food is better than what you're gonna get in almost any restaurant. It is that good. And then there is lunch, which Matt prepares, and there's no other word to describe them but gourmet. Hefty sandwiches accompanied by unique cheeses and crackers, berries often from his own five acre farm, and dessert slices that he's often baked himself. Well, I've got to add one more thing, number six, and that is appropriate dress. 
be sure you have layers and you're ready for sun, wind, hot, cold, all of it. So that wraps up the fly fishing part of the trip. Thank you, Matt. Hope to be seeing you for May fly fishing in a couple of months. And what I would suggest to anyone coming into Hobart, the ferry ride to the MoMA Art Museum is definitely worth your time as well. The restaurants are great. The market on Saturday mornings is just first rate. There is a ton to do. I hope you get a chance to enjoy it too.